And this is going to be the uh, end of the year garden wrap up, 2020. First real year, well, in a while I've had a garden. Mixed bag. So corn over here, sweet corn, kind of grew okay. There's some furrows here from the three bottom plow. I stuck some peppers in here. Didn't really fruit a whole lot. There's a couple on there. The season's pretty short up here. We just had frost at, uh, a couple days ago. You can see there's some squash, pumpkins, but the vines have all died because of the frost. Um, there's a couple more fruits in there. I don't know how many pumpkins are out here. 15 or 20. A lot fewer than you would have thought. Or I would have thought. Here was a line, a row of potatoes. Still got to dig them up. I've dug up maybe 10 feet there. I've got 30 or 40 feet to go. It's tough to see. Um, tough to see where the potatoes are, but three, the, uh, the moldboard plow folded over soil here from this furrow. So I'm standing on it now. And this is ryegrass in here that um, I'll do something different next year because weeds are an issue. And But you can see the basil, the um, frost got to it. Got a lot of tomatoes still, a lot of tomatoes. Never really grew up that high. I did the Florida weave with the twine around the rebar poles. Seemed to work well. Um, they didn't really, it was a slow, slow season it seemed like. Never really got warm, never got hot. Um, this row here, straight ahead of me, tough to see now, but um, believe it or not, it was peas, or beans rather. And uh, the weeds just took over. I, I hoed them for a little bit by hand. It was just too much, it's too much. This was a furrow I, I did with the um, rototiller to knock back some of this ryegrass and turn it over by shovel. This is onions. I don't know if there's any left down in here. I kind of see them. There's one right there. Still onions in this row. And you start to see there was some broccoli that went to seed, some collards. Um, there were radishes right here, a couple little pumpkins, little pumpkins, this row right, if you can see it, right there all the way up is onions, they're still in there in that row, and this was peas right here up until broccoli that never really took off, I mean I never formed any heads, it, it set seed and bolted but no heads were formed, and none of this broccoli, none of, none of it set a head. I don't know what I did wrong, if anything. And uh, what else was down in here? I had garlic, which I'm sure is rotted by now. It was going real well. I never did come out and pick it. All the way down here, I planted garlic. Or I chilled it in the fridge. Um, well, it's in there somewhere. But then I've got my deer fence up all the way around. A lot of deer around here. Um, I don't know what else to say? There's a clover that we mowed off, and it's going to be in soybeans next year. There's probably a hundred Canadian geese out there, three quarters of the way to the woods. New pole barn, bean head, 7140 house. Mid-September tour of up here, about 60 degrees, overcast day on a sunny. Well, that's all for now. We'll uh, catch you on the next one. Bye.